During the time na maraming bashers and haters, ano yung Bible verse na nagbigay sa iyo ng lakas at parang naging katuwang mo to continue what you're doing? So, uh, context muna sa mga taong nanonood. Kasi na-cancel ako ng 2019. First political interview ko siya, round table, and I was so excited to represent the Lord, represent Christians, and syempre, you know, media. They twist, they manipulate, they maneuver things for clickbait. And I obviously, uh, na experience ko yon for the very first time I think plus a lot of things that were going on in my personal life parang nagpatong patong na lang siya and eventually I had to go see um, see see a therapist because I was really dealing with um, a form of depression and and panic attacks actually very very phys- physical you know both of those and thoughts that were not very good um, but Psalm 27 verse 13 it says uh, There it is. Yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. When you see something like yet or but or even rather or even, you know, whatever that may be, you have to look at what comes before it. You know, you can't just pick out a verse like that. You have to see, okay, may yet dito. Yet what? You know, or why is it saying yet? So I look behind um, verse 13 and, you know, it's David actually writing, when evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, when an I- ar- mighty army um, surrounds me, um, even if my mother and father abandon me, um, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations, all of these things, all of these negative things, all of these issues, circumstances, I realize that the yet is important because it um, it acknowledges the reality of the world, the reality of the broken world, that it's not all, you know, land of milk and honey, but this is the reality. But there is also the reality of Christ. There is also the reality of grace and the gospel. And that's why conjunctions are so important to me. And now I hope, um, pag tinitignan or binabasa niyo yung Bible, you don't look at it the same way anymore. But you look for those things. Um, even my other favorite verses, and the peace of Christ that goes beyond understanding. You have to look, and what goes before that. And so I won't spoil it for you. You can check it out yourself. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, I really remain confident in this. And, you know, the, the next part is, I will see the goodness of the Lord. And the word see there, I did a kind of a deep dive on it. Let me pull it up real quick on my phone. No? The original Hebrew word ng see, um, I won't pronounce it now because I'm sure I'm going to butcher it. But it says um, to realize, to know, um, to consider. It's not a passive thing na, okay, parang nakahiga ka lang sa kama tapos makita mo lang siya, oh, cool, that's nice. No, you have to realize it. You have, there's an action there na first, nandun na siya. Kasi diba, when you realize something, it was, you know, that thing was always there and then there's just something in your mindset that changes. So what is already there? The goodness. The goodness of the Lord is already here. You just have to realize it. Oh, and I hated that at first. <laughs> uh, maging honest lang po ako. Siyempre, nandun ako sa, you know, depressive state. I was there in my anxiety and, you know, in in my, you know, even just being completely paralyzed. And I said, ah, oh, hanapin ko pa. Um, but then, you know, I looked and I found, you know, I feel like if anybody here saying, wala naman yung goodness ni Lord dito, wala naman akong nakikita, I, I promise you, if you look, you will find. In the same way that if you look for God, uh, if you seek the Lord, you will find Him. If you look for the goodness, you will find it because that's a promise. That's a promise of the Lord that you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And yun yung last point ko, no? In the land of the living. Kasi at that point in my life, you know, to be completely honest, hindi ko na, hindi ko na po nakita yung punto kung ba't, because you know relationally everything was so messy and you know people were leaving me left and right and I was you know rejection and obviously bashing and canceling I thought my career was over my personal life was over and I was like Lord I just want to worship you in heaven <laughs> um, but this verse says in the land of the living meaning here on earth 
And those are the three things that I held on to that carried me from then to now. 